I guess you need to paint a story in your head, right? Because if not, the guy never do anything wrong, why you want to shoot him? I guess you need to paint a story in your head. Because if not, the guy never do anything wrong. Paint a story in your head, right? Why you want to shoot him? Because if not, the guy never do anything wrong. Paint a story in your head, right? Hello everyone, I'm Angela and this is Hin Fong. She's a scientist at HTX Human Factors and Simulation Center of Expertise. Together with her team, she develops innovative technologies and tests to enhance the training and performance of home team officers. Today, Kim Fong is going to put me through some of the tests and see how I do. So Angela, welcome to Human Performance Center. This is the Usability Lab, so where we conduct computer-based trials and experiments. For your first test today, you need to move this red dot from point A to point B using these joysticks as quickly as you can. Can I go? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> the next mission is a multi stimuli reaction test. So you will have a lot of stimuli coming at you, and you have to respond to them by using this response panel and the foot pedals. Why is this so stressful? <laughs> Shut up! I can't! <laughs> so how did I perform? So I can see that you are a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> yes, I am overwhelmed. Yeah. Actually, your test was already quite short. Because oh, this test no. is adaptive. If you can no longer cope with the demands, right, it will be terminated automatically. Wow, are we in the mothership? Where are we in from? Wow, the colour will change one ah. Hey Angela, are you done? We are at the Extended Reality Lab within the Human Performance Centre. For your second station, I am going to show you a new Mixed Reality Training System which we initiated with the CID to help train crime scene specialists in the techniques of blood stain pattern analysis. There got blood stain. Here got chair. Got blood stain. Oh my god! Oh my god! I found! Got one, got one gun and one... and one knife. Right here. So now I'm gonna measure the blood stain. I guess I won't take this one because it's not fresh already. Maybe this one. Very red, very bright. Second one. Okay. Third one is to take a photo of the crime scene. Uh, mission accomplished. So Angela, how do you feel? I actually feel great. I found the knife and the gun. I bet a lot of people will never find a gun because it's under the sofa. So this system is designed to introduce a fresh instructional approach to enhance the learning experience of our crime scene specialists. Traditionally, instructors, they need to manually set up a mock-up crime scene using synthetic blood and physical props. With our MR technology, we can project holographic images and use them to create a virtual crime scene. So this is your last station for today and you will be having a go at the Enhanced Live Firing Range System. So this system employs multiple integrated sensors and smart analytics to provide feedback for officers to enhance their shooting performance. Today will be your first time handling a pistol, so we'll see how well you do. Is it now? It's now ah? So from this uh, dashboard, we can see our shot history. For all 9 shots, you did not have any blinking issues. The posture was good except for shot number 9. You had issues with body movements for shots 2 and 3. Out of 5 star, how will you rate me? This is your first time, right? I would say 4.5. 4.5 eh? 4.5 upon 5. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's still not bad, okay? So, um, Hinfong, can you tell me, like, do all home team officers go through what I went through today? Not really. So, we customize our approach based on um, their operational requirements. 
So here at the Human Factors and Simulation Center of Expertise, we drive the application of a human-centric approach to machines, mm. systems, or processes, and environments to boost productivity, performance, and safety in home team operations. So here comes the big question. Do I have what it takes to become a home team officer? I'm afraid not just yet. You probably need more training and tests. Okay, let's go now. <laughs>